Uh, just a reminder for tonight, helpful reminder for myself because I, I forgot them. Um, grab a strap or a towel and uh, a block or some books. And if you want some water nearby, feel free. And if, if you didn't see my post before, if you are tuning into the live class and you have class questions during practice about recovery, about stretching, things like that, things we're going to be talking about during our practice today, feel free to um, post them in the comments because I'm going to keep an eye on them here from the iPad. So I'm going to grab my strap and my block, and you go ahead and do that too, and I'll meet you right back here.
with your breath. Slow it down. Lengthen your inhales and exhales. Start to find that ujjayi breath that's going to carry you through your practice. Inhaling deeply through the nose, drawing the air down through the chest and into the belly. And exhaling in the opposite direction from the belly, back up through the chest and out through the nose. Maintaining this breath maintains your practice of yoga, regardless of what pose you are in. And as you are deepening your breath, start to check in with your mind. Become present on the mat. Letting go of any distraction. I know particularly practicing at home, that can be a challenge. But try and give yourself just this one hour. If you have to shut the door, close the blinds. Tune everyone out. Maybe start to think about sending an intention for your practice. My intention for you today is to find some more openness, deepen that mind-body connection, and allow your muscles to lengthen, to become more flexible and stable. Let's take a few rounds of breath together. So with your next exhale, release all the air from your body, and inhale slowly through the nose for two, three, four, five. Exhale just as slowly through the nose, two, three, four, five. Another breath in, fill up the belly, two, three, four, five. And a full breath out, start to clear your mind, two, three, four, five. One last time together, deep breath in, two, three, four, Five, and a full breath out, two, three, four, five. Just another round or two of breath here on your own so you can focus on your intention. Focus on the spaces you need to work with tonight. One more breath in, and one more breath out. Good. Starting that warm up of our body. Like I said, we're going to try and hit all the major points. So if you've been sitting in front of a computer, hunting for a lot, we're going to get into some neck and some shoulder work. So starting with some neck rolls, lifting your chin up to the sky. Feel the stretch here in the front of your throat. Open up that throat chakra so you're able to speak the truth. And then dropping the right ear over to the right shoulder, stretching the left side of the neck. Slowly dropping the chin into the chest, making a full circle, so dropping the left ear into the left shoulder, and then completing the circle by looking back up. Four more rounds on each side, nice and slow. It's about inviting your body to open, never forcing anything, never rushing it. About two more rounds on this side, last time around. And as we come back to neutral, we're going to stop and go in the other direction. So again, looking up, dropping the left ear to the left shoulder, looking down and around four more times. So you might start to feel some of that, hear some of that cracking in your neck. Just be gentle with yourself. One or two more rounds here. And then after this final circle, come back to center. Very nice. Gonna get into the thoracic spine here with some circles also. So starting by pulling your belly button in, rounding out through the upper spine. So rounding your shoulders forward, dropping your chin into your chest, and then circling around to the left. As you come forward, opening the chest, pulling the shoulder blades back behind you, circle over to the right, and then back where we started, that's one. Same thing, five rounds in each direction. Start to find some movement in that spine. One more time to the left, and then once we get to the back where we started, let's stop and go over to the right. Now just a note here on my cueing, I don't mirror so well, to get my left and right confused. No judgment. So when I'm saying right, I'm doing right on my side. So you 
do as I say. If I look flipped, don't do as I do. Okay, come back to center. Final round here, let's come into some shoulder circles. So pulling our shoulders once again, together, shoulder blades together behind you. And then lift them up towards your ears and down in front. Moving back to front. Two more times. And then as we end on the fifth one, let's stop and go in the other direction. So we're rolling forward, pulling them up towards our ears and then back. Maybe increasing the range of motion as you go. Last two. One more. And coming to a rest. Nice work. Let's come over onto our hands and knees. Into your tabletop with your shoulders over your wrists, hips over knees, and feet flat on the mat. With your breath in, drop your belly towards the ground, flip the tailbone up, look up. Again, work the shoulder blades together, continue that motion. With your exhale, roll it close, really arch your back, press away from the ground, keep your chin and your tailbone. Inhale, drop the belly, roll it with. Exhale, squeeze the belly button, roll close. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. One more time, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Return to your neutral back, I'm gonna flip around so you can see me. So variation on thread the needle. Keep the left wrist underneath the left shoulder. Take the right hand, place it behind your head. So starting in neutral with your back flat, right arms at a 90 degree angle to the mat, to the breath in, pulling your belly, open up, and then with your breath out, this right elbow is going to tap the inside of the left elbow, let's do that again, inhale, open, exhale, tap elbow to elbow, that's two, inhale, open, exhale, close, inhale, open, Exhale, close. Now on this round, with your inhale, take the right hand, extend it all the way up to the sky. And with your exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. Release your right temple, right cheek to the mat. You can keep this left arm bent or you can reach it forward. A little bit of stretch in this right shoulder. And then after this exhale, slide the left hand back underneath the elbow. Press into the hand as you breathe in. Arm reaches up to the sky, gaze follows. Exhale, right hand to the mat. If you want to take a cat cow, feel free. If you want to shift your hips, I'm going to flip around since we're going to do the left side. And then we repeat the same sequence. Left hand comes behind the head. Shoulders stacked over the wrist. Inhale, open. Exhale, left elbow taps the right. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Increasing your range of motion if you're able. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more like this, open. Exhale, close. This time, full thread the needle. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left arm feds, threads through, releasing your left temple and cheek. Maybe straightening the arm if you'd like. For one inhale. And one exhale. Pressing into the right hand, breathe in, feel up. Breathe out, let it go. A little bit of spinal balance. With your inhale, lift the right leg up, heel in line with your hip, toes flex to the mat. Exhale, left hand reaches forward, thumb in line, or thumb to the ceiling. Your shoulder is into its socket, there's no hyperextension. With your breath in, draw on the belly button. With your breath out, reach from your midsection, through your fingers, through your heel. Stay nice and lifted, don't jump into those joints. And then from here, bend the right knee, sweep the left hand behind you, catch that foot. Press the foot into the hand, feel that quad muscle engaged. Take a breath in, press a little harder, and then with your breath out, pull the heel into your hamstring. Maybe open a bit more through your chest. Then with this inhale, release the foot, reach. Exhale, release the hand and the knee to the mat, shifting side to side maybe taking a cat cow, and then we'll come into the other side. Inhale, lift the left heel up, toes flex to the ground. Exhale, right hand forward, thumb to the ceiling. So arm and leg are parallel to the mat, left inner thigh spins up. Inhale, pull in your belly button, pull up on the pelvic floor. Exhale, reach from the front wall to the back. One more breath in here. One more breath out. Nice, bend 
bend the left knee, catch that left foot with the right hand, press the foot into the hand, feel that quad engage, take another breath in, breath out, pull the left heel in a little bit closer, then with your next inhale, release the foot, reach, exhale, release the hand and the knee, shift, maybe a cat cow. And then from here, let's come into our modified plank. So shifting forward on the knees so we can lift the feet up and create this diagonal line from the mat where our knees are all the way up through our crown. So tabletop, modified plank. Shoulders are still over your wrists. Belly button pulls in. Press away from the mat. Round out through your shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale to stay just a reminder that anytime we come into a plank position, if you want to take this modification, go for it. One more breath in. Press away. Breath out, pull the elbows in, lower everything down to the mat. Glutes stay engaged, hands slide to the small of your waist, inhale, lift just your heart, maybe cover, so shoulder blades, elbows work together. Exhale, hold it here, very little weight in the fingertips. One more breath in, and one more breath out. Go ahead and release down to the mat, I'm going to keep my head lifted so you can hear me. But I want you, what I want you to look like, is this. So your neck is in neutral, nose and chin pointing down to the mat, arms reaching forward like we're going to do a Superman, no Superman tonight. We're going to come into that shoulder mobility again here. So palms facing the ceiling, breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you're going to sweep your arms behind you. As you transition, turn your palms to the mat, and then when you get behind you, turn your palms to the ceiling, lifting, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep squeezing your glutes so your legs are working together, but they're not touching. Let's come forward again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep sweeping the hands behind you, working the shoulder blades together. Two more times. Very nice. Release your hands down to the mat. Take a breath and lift up again, baby cobra. With your breath out, come into your child's pose with your toes together. Leave some distance between your knees. Reach the arms forward. Sink your hips back towards your heels. Find some side body opening. Walk the hands over to the right. And then walking your hands over to the left. And then bringing your hands back to the center. Reminder, I'm not, I'm still not going to cue a child's pose throughout this practice, but you are feel free to come here anytime you'd like. From here into our first downward facing dog, so with your inhale transitioning up, curling your toes under. Exhale into your downward facing dog. With your feet about hip this distance apart, nice big deep bend in your knees, so your tailbone is the highest point on your body. Belly button pulls in and your chest is pressing to your thighs. Press away from the mat to lift out of your shoulders. Your hands are only about six inches apart. That's not very far. It's about shoulder width distance. Fingertips are spread wide. You're shifting your weight back into your legs and your heels to take the crease out of your wrists. Maybe shaking your head, yes and no. Maybe open your mouth wide to stretch out your cheeks. And then with your next inhale, rise high into your tippy toes. With your exhale, deep bend in the left knee, right heel drops to the mat. Inhale, rise high. Exhale, left heel drops, right knee bends. Again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, right heel down, left knee bends. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left heel down, right knee bends. This time with your inhale, rise high into your tippy toes. With your exhale, with these both heels just a little closer to the mat. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Your next breath in, rise high to your toes, deep bend in your knees, exhale, walk, step or jump to the front of the mat, bring your toes together, leave the distance between your heels. So we're going to come through three halfway lifts first. Now remember, this first part is about mobility, it's about movement, it's about warming up the muscles, creating some blood flow so that you can stretch deeper after. Okay. Inhale, lift up halfway, your hands are on your shins, your thighs, it's up to you, just so your back can be nice and flat, shoulder blades work together. And then with your exhale, release forward. Now when you release forward, any standing or seated forward fold, that fold comes from the hips. None of this. This. If that means you really need to bend your knees, fine. Let's go again on the halfway lift. Inhale, lift. Flatten your back. Open your chest. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips. My legs are cold, so 
shoulder. I'm still finding a bend in my knees. One more. Inhale, lift up halfway, press away from the legs, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, let your head hang heavy. We'll be doing plenty of these during your practice, so you have ample time to really dig into that forward fold. Let's move on up to our half salute. So toes together, pull the belly button in. Inhale, reach out, rise up, interlace your fingers at the top. Spin the palms to the ceiling with your exhale, reach over to the right. Press the left heel into the mat. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, reach over to the left, pressing the right heel down. Inhale, center. With your exhale, it's your choice. Swan dive or hands for heart center, either way. Hinge forward. Let your head hang heavy. We're going to do it again. Belly button pulls in. Inhale, reach out, rise up. This time with your exhale, bring your hands to your hips and twist over to the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips. Your head, your heart comes down first. One more time, belly button pulls in. Inhale, reach out, rise up. With your exhale, this time your hands come behind your back. So this is a good place for your strap um, or towel, but we won't be here long. So maybe just grab the back of your short. If you're able to interlace your hands, interlace your hands. Now, if your chest is still cold and it's not open, sometimes we have to find a bend to really bring our hands together. I would much rather see this to bend at the elbows than bending. Sometimes in class I see a lot of this. I see a lot of bent wrists. That's no good for your wrists. They're very sensitive joints. Bend at the elbows, not the wrists. Inhale. Draw your knuckles to the mat. Lift your chest. Stand up nice and tall as you pull your shoulder blades together. Tuck the pelvis under. And then with your exhale, if you want to maintain that bind in the back, hinge forward at the hips. For now, let's just have our thumbs resting on our low back. You'll have more time to open later. Then releasing your hands to the mat. We're going to come to the top again, but then we're going to transition into a sun egg. So last time, inhale, sweep up, nothing fancy this time. Exhale, fold forward, your head comes down last. Breathe in, lift up halfway, flatten your back. With your breath out, plant your hands up back to your high plank. High plank, you're straight as a board. Shoulders, hips, knees are in a line. Belly button is pulled in, tailbone's tucked under just a little bit. Remember, take a modification if you'd like. From here, we're not going to do the push-up yet. We're going to transition between our plank and our down dog again to warm up. Breath in, pull in the belly button. Breath out, shift back, down dog. Let's come through that again. Inhale, roll forward. Use your core and move. Exhale, shift back in the wave. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, press back. Tailbone to the sky. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. This time with your breath in, pull forward into your high plank. This round we're all going to take a modification. Breath out, drop the knees, lift the feet. Slowly lower everything down to the mat. Hands come to the small of the waist with your breath in. Lift up, baby cobra. Breath out, maybe you're ready now to press up further into your full cobra. You are not locking out your elbows, and there is no compression, no pinching. In that low back, lift the heart and the shoulder blades together, try to relax the shoulders. Maybe look right, and maybe look left. Come back to center on your inhale. Exhale over the knees, over the toes, to down dog. Take a breath in, rise high, bend your knees, exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. Three regular sunnies to get the blood flowing. Inhale, reach out, rise up, gather your energy. Exhale, try and let go of anything that's holding you back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, come back. Now you can take that modified push-up, full push-up. Elbows pull in, lower down to your arms, bent to 90 degrees. Inhale, press forward, up dog, thigh, stay lifted. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, rise, bend the knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale halfway, exhale, fold forward again. 
Rise to your toes, bend your knees, exhale to the front. Inhale halfway, exhale fold here. One more breath in, and one more breath out. All right, from your forward fold, let's step right back to our plank. So one of my favorite dynamic warm-up is uh, what's called the world's greatest stretch. I'm going to modify it here a little bit. So you guys know if you've been to my other classes, world's greatest is you're from a plank, and you're walking your hands in and walking out. We're going to skip that part tonight. If you look, that looks good to you, take one of my power arms. Okay, from your plank, take a breath in. Your breath out, step the right foot forward into your low lunge. Again, shoulder mobility. Inhale, right arm peels up to the sky. Exhale, right hand down to the mat. Right foot steps back, left foot steps up, sink your hips. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left foot back. Squeeze your belly when you step back. Exhale, right foot forward. Again, inhale, right arm up. Exhale down. The key here is not to move, just your right foot moves. Left foot up, left hand up. Release it down one more time on each side. Right foot up, right hand peels up. Release it down. Left foot up, left hand up. Okay, this round, we're going to step up, and then that opposite leg, that back leg, the left knee is going to sink down to the ground. Keeping the right knee over the ankle, inhale, lengthen the spine, lift your heart. Exhale, shift back. We're not going to stay. We'll stay later. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Keep the left hip stepped over the left knee. One more time. Inhale forward. Exhale back. This inhale, pull forward. Curl the toes under. Pick up that back knee. Exhale, right foot back. Left side, left foot up. Right knee down. Inhale, lift your heart, lengthen. Exhale, shift back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more time, inhale forward, and exhale back. This time when you come forward, right toes on the right knee lifts, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps back, one breath in, breath out, downward facing dog, pedal your feet. Then rise back your toes, bend your knees, exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward to mountain pose. Inhale, reach out, rise up, palms together. Exhale, hands at heart center. And then go ahead and release your hands down. So just a little bit more upper body stretching before we start to hold poses a little bit longer. So tricep stretch. Right hand comes behind you. If you can grab this right elbow with your left hand, feeling the stretch in the tricep here, reaching your fingers down. If you're a little bit more open and you're ready for the bind, you can grab opposite hands, also a good place for your towel or your strap. Then switch your sides. One side is always sink better than the other. Now for me, you can go ahead and pull that left elbow. And then maybe from there, grab fingertips. There we go. Okay, let's release that. Come into a shoulder stretch. Right hand, right arm across your body. Grab the outside of that tricep. And then switch sides. And then from here, one more. Let's find a quad stretch. So the important part of this is a little bit of balance. Ground down into your standing foot, your left foot for now. Spread the toes. But you're not going to lock this left leg out. We always want to be soft but strong. And sit up tall. Don't drop into that left leg. If you want to grab the right ankle, you can also use the strap around your ankle here just to pull your heel to your bum, get into that right quad a little bit more. Focus on your balance, stay steady. Then go ahead and release the right foot. Left heel comes in. And then go ahead and release it down. All right, shake it out. We're going to transition through one sun A to our down dog. And then we come into our standing sequence. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, release forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale through your vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog. From here, pressing the left foot into the mat. With your inhale, take that right heel up to where the ceiling and the wall meet. And with your exhale, open up. Stack the right hip on top of the left. Make sure you can see your right 
toes so you get set up here. So either there's equal weight in both hands and your chest is square to the mat. This is a hip opener, not a chest opener. Do your next breath in, reach that right heel a little higher. From here, maybe bend the right knee, let your heel fall in. You can roll your ankles, spread your toes. Just don't jump into that left shoulder. Keep the opening at the hips and the waist. Next breath in, right leg reaches long. Breath out, right foot steps forward. All ten toes to me. So you're going to ball the back foot. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, find your high lunge here. Square your hips. Maybe a soft bend in that back knee. So your tailbone is shooting to the mat. So the breath in, lift up through your heart. With your breath out, sweep your hands behind you. Again, interlacing, drawing your knuckles to the ground. A little bit more of a heart opener here. Work the shoulder blades together. Inhale, maybe you lift your chest. Exhale, sink into the lunge. And releasing your fingers, breath in, sweep up. Breath out, hands come to hips. Stand up a little bit taller, step that back foot in just a touch. Take a breath in, lengthen. With your breath out, hinge forward over that right hip. Releasing your hands down to the mat. Now you might want to grab your block. I'm going to grab a book because it's in front of me. On the inside of that right foot, left hand is on the block, on the book, whatever you need. If you need something, you bring the floor higher because we're going to twist here. With your inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen. With your exhale, twist over to the right. The last thing is your right arm coming up. So in this revolve triangle, sometimes our right hip has a tendency to want to pop out. You want to pull it into alignment, pull it back so your right hip is back and your left hip is driving forward. Every breath in, we find space. Every breath out, we open up a little bit more. This is a nice stretch for the hamstring and the IT band on the right side. Inhale, reach just a little higher. Exhale, release the right hand down to the mat, to the inside of that right foot. So we're going to open up into our full triangle here. So from here, pivot that back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Really, I like to build these from the bottom sometimes because it really makes you focus on your foundation and your alignment. So micro bend in that right knee. Start to pull the tailbone under. As I pull my tailbone under, it automatically forces me to lift my upper body up. We don't want to be collapsed over. There should be space between the right rib cage and the right thigh. Once again, inhale, lengthen, drive your crown towards me. And finally, exhale, left hand comes up to the sky. So when you're working your spine nice and long, your shoulder blades are working together. Feel this nice stretch down the left side body. Take a breath in, reach through your fingertips. With your breath out, reach the left hand forward. So this right hand can be on the block, it can be on the mat, it can be hovering. But like I said, you just don't want to be collapsed. Keep working your chest open. You can use this right arm as leverage to twist open. These open twists are gentle. One more inhale here to reach. One more exhale to release, left hand down to the mat, put it back to the ball of that left foot. Just like in that um, low lunge that we did, let's take a breath in, shift forward just a little bit. Breath out, shift back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back, this time we hold. Now you can use, again, you can use blocks on either side of your foot. You can use it in front of your foot. Maybe you want to work on your balance a bit and grab your right ankle with one or both hands. Maybe you want to turn your hands around and work them towards that rear foot. Either way, you're hinging at the hips, not rounding out the low back, allowing the head to be heavy, and really starting to feel that hamstring open. Keep your breath steady. I like these poses when we're folding forward, and you can feel the weight leave your neck and your shoulders and the crown of your head. Just release that tension. From here, we're going to find a standing split, so start to shift forward into that right foot, spread the toes. Exhale, reach that left leg up. Let the hips open if you'd like. Reach the left toes to the sky. I always give this disclaimer with standing splits, but just because I say standing split, that might mean your toes are right here, and that's okay. What matters to me is how much energy you're putting into that left foot. Take a breath in here. 
With your breath out, if you reach a little higher, maybe let your head hang a little bit heavier. And then after that exhale, you're going to release the left foot next to the right, but nice and wide. Feet are wider than hips distance. Toes are turned out. And we're going to come into our malasana, our Buddha squat from here. So letting the tailbone come right down towards the ground. Letting the elbows press the knees open just a little bit. In your malasana, you want to try not to be tilting forward. You want to be sitting up nice and tall. Now let's find some more of that chest and shoulder opening. So left hand comes down. Inhale, right arm peels up. Twisting just at the waist. Exhale, right hand down. Left arm up. And we go back to the other side. Left hand down. Open the heart. Open the chest. Right hand down. Left arm up. One more time. Left hand down. As, I'm, as, as this left hand is down, it's pressing the left knee back. And final side, left arm up. Very nice. Go ahead and release, sit up nice and tall. Maybe use the elbows, press both knees, open just a little bit more. Nice stretch for the inner thighs. And then release the hands down to the mat carefully. Work your way up. Walk your toes in. Let's come to the other side. So from the top, knee soft, belly button pulls in. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale, release forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, through your vinyasa, skip the push up if you'd like. Just meet in downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, left foot toward the sitting of the long knee. Exhale, stack the hips open, left on top of the right, chest square. Inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, bend the knee, heel falls in. Feel some opening down that left side, really ankle spread your toes. Inhale, the left leg long. Exhale, step through. Breathe in, rise up. Breathe out, high lunge. Square your hips, tilt the pelvis forward. Relax the shoulders, take a breath and lift your heart. Breath out one more time, and lift your hands behind your back, draw the knuckles to the ground. Notice if this is getting any easier for you. If your chest is feeling any more open, one last breath in, one last breath out. Good, release the hands, inhale, rise up. Exhale, set the right foot in just a touch, release down to the mat. Again, grab your block or your book underneath that right hand. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left, left hand eventually reaches the sky. Keep pulling the left hip in and back. Keep lengthening through the spine. Feel that stretch down the left side. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Good. Left hand comes down to the inside of the left foot on the block. Or it hovers. Right foot pivots so it's parallel to the back of the mat. And once again, pull that tailbone under. See as I pull it under, how my upper body lifts up. Breathe in, lengthen towards me. Breathe out, right hand comes up to the sky. Keep working the chest open. Keep working the shoulder blades together. Inhale here. Exhale, reach the right arm forward. Just don't collapse over that left side. You're using your core to keep lifted. One more breath in. And one more breath out, nice. Go ahead and release the right hand down. Down, pivot to the ball of that back foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Shift forward, exhale, shift back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more time and we hold. Inhale forward, exhale back. Releasing your head down, feeling the opening along the left hamstring. Keeping everything squared, you can walk your hands forward, you can walk them back, you can grab one or both angles, it's up to you. One side is generally tighter than the other, don't let it surprise you. One last breath in. One last breath out. Good, with your next inhale, start to shift forward. Set the right foot up into your standing split. Open through the hips if you'd like. Reach the right leg as high. If you feel like you're ready for one more breath in, breath out, release the right foot down. Wide stance, we'll come into our malasana one more time. Turn the toes out. 
release the tailbone to the mat. This time we're just going to hold it, take a breath in, hands come to prayer, thumbs press into the breastbone, breath out, elbows, press the knees open wide. You're sitting up nice and tall. If you would like to drop your chin into your chest to stretch the neck, go for it. Pulling in the belly button, pulling up on the pelvic floor. You've heard me say it before, ladies, this is a good time to practice your kegels. Keep that pelvic floor intact. Keep it working. Keep your breath steady. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Good, release your hands to the mat. Carefully lifting your hips up. Then when you bring your feet together, cross that left ankle behind the right. So right ankle's in front of the left. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper, just a little bit more of a stretch on that left leg. And after your exhale, switching sides, right ankle behind the left this time. If you get it backwards, no worries. We always balance it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. From here on out, we're going to make our way down to the mat. Set the right foot out one more. If you have a block or a stack of books, or if you're near a step, you can try this after. Um, if you don't have a block, if you don't want to slide on your books, I get that. You can try this on a step or something after. But if you have a block, Maybe come up a little higher. We always stand, just like we say in kids yoga. Never stand on the highest side of the block, just the flat side. With your inhale, sweep up. With your exhale, we're going to find this forward fold here on the block. Just because it gives you a little bit more space to come down. You're also forced to check in with your balance. Remember you're hinging forward at the hips, your head's hanging heavy, you can use your fingertips to anchor yourself, but just ever so slightly on the mat. Maybe close your eyes. You can feel your body naturally swaying in space. It's okay. And after this exhale, go ahead and release your hands. Step off the block. Move it to the side. One more breath in, lift up halfway here. And now with your breath out, just walk back to your downward facing dog. Once again, you can paddle your feet. Wide your tail, we're gonna dig in a little bit deeper to our hips, take a breath in, reach the right leg up. Breath out, right foot steps through. Bring both hands to the inside of that right foot. Start to sink down through the hips. Find your low runner's lunge here first. Nice long spine. Nice opening in this left hip flexor. Breathe in. And now with your breath out, release the left knee down, flatten your foot. Coming a little bit deeper into your lizard. If this is enough, you can stay here on long arms. This can be a lot of sensation. If you're ready for more, come down to your forearms. Now we're going to stay here for a moment or so. So it's okay if you're uncomfortable. Hip openers are definitely not always comfortable. Just make sure you keep breathing. So once you're down here, if you want to roll to the outside edge of that foot, if you feel like you get a better stretch in that right glute, like on the medial side towards the out, <clears throat> let your right knee fall open a little bit. If your hips are really open and you want to play with this a little bit, you can start to try and get that right arm Get that right arm underneath that front leg, maybe for a little bit more. Of course, I picked our, our biggest block. Get that right foot up on a block. You're going to find more opening here, maybe more of an opportunity to get that right shoulder underneath. I've told this story before, but I was at a training years ago that was all about hip openers and it was a male instructor and not only did he have his right shoulder 
underneath. He got his left shoulder underneath too, so he had both shoulders underneath his right leg. I don't know how that was even humanly possible, no offense, especially for a man. That was incredible, and I will never forget that. I'll also probably never be able to do it, but that's okay. Yoga is a journey, right? One more breath in here. And one more breath out. From here, come back up to long arms. Grab your strap or your towel. We're going to get into the left quad a little bit more. So you might be able to do this without a strap. I mean, it depends on the day and what I've been doing. So I'm going to start with the strap. So coming up a little bit higher, lifting that left heel up, grabbing the strap. If you have a towel, you can hold it down further. But just pulling your heel into your quad a little bit more. Nice deep stretch for that left quad. Keep pressing forward. Never dumping into that low back. So my belly is engaged. I'm sitting up high in my pelvis. I have a block here that my right hand is resting on so I'm not falling forward. I feel stable. I'm not entirely comfortable, but that's okay. One more breath in here. Maybe pull that strap in a little bit closer. And one more breath out. Good. Gently releasing that left foot. Releasing the strap. Curling the left toes. Pick up that back knee. Inhale. Take that right leg back. We're not done with this side yet. Exhale. Right knee comes forward again. Right knee release to the inside of the right wrist. Find your half pigeon and we'll do the whole sequence on the other side. So left knee slides back. Flatten your foot. Inhale. Excuse me. Lift your heart. Exhale. Come forward to your forearms. The block or the mat. Come all the way down. Checking with your breath. Make sure you're not holding it. Try to release a bit more with every exhale. I just want to check in with our Facebook friends here. Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in. So there's 22 muscles in our hips, in and around our hips. You know, the hips are the engine of our body. They drive us forward. We do a lot of work. It's important to take care of them. And those muscles, those 22 muscles, some of them are big, some of them are teeny tiny. And I swear it's those little ones that are the challenge, the worst ones to get to. So it's important to spend a lot of time working on your hips. We'll take one more breath in here. And one more breath out, really sink down and release. After that, exhale, lift your chest up, walk your hands in, curl the left toes under. Exhale, kick that right leg to the sky. Really shake it out, bend your knee, roll your ankles, get some blood flowing back in it. Then release the right foot down, we'll switch sides. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward. Sink into that low lunge. Breathe into that hip flexor. It's also important to keep pressing that right heel to the back wall. Keep squeezing your glute so you are protecting all those muscles, always stabilizing the joints. One more breath in. Breath out, release the right knee down. Flatten the foot. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, come down to your forearms. The block or the mat. Same options. You can stay here. You can drop to the outside edge of that left foot. You can work on getting that arm and shoulder underneath. You can put this left foot up on a block. Play around with it. It's your practice. No one ever said you have to do exactly what the instructor's doing. I know these hip openers in particular can be really uncomfortable, but I promise you the more that you do them, the less terrible they can be. And you're going to feel good after. One last breath in here. One last breath out. Lifting the chest up, walking the hands in. Maybe slide that front foot back a little bit. Let's grab our strap, our towel, whatever you're using. 
right heel into the hamstring. Now again, this side might look and feel completely different. It's normal for our bodies to be out of alignment. That's one of the best parts of yoga, is to come balance yourself out. Keep pulling that heel in. Maybe again, create some dynamic tension. Press the foot into the strap of the towel. And then with your exhale, see if you can pull it in a little bit more. One more breath in here. One more breath out. Nice work. Release that foot. There's a strap. Pick up the back knee. Inhale, reach that left leg up to the sky. Exhale, come back through. Left knee to the inside of the left wrist. Right knee slides back, flatten the foot, square your hips. Feel free to use a block underneath this right hip if you're crashing over to the side. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forearms, block, or mat. Settle in. If those distractions are starting to make your way in, just trying to breathe them away. Think about the work that you're putting into your body. Recovery is just as important, if not more important, dare I say, as we age. The prehab and the recovery to your body, to your joints, to your muscles is just as important as the work that you're putting in. And for those of you who are watching, you know exactly who I'm talking to. Keep releasing on your exhales. And these deep stretches, they don't have to be completely static. If you need to shift around, if you want to square your hips a little bit more, if you want to slide that back knee back a little bit further, feel free. Allow yourself to release into the pose. Last few breaths here. Take one more breath in to fill up as much as possible. And one more breath out to release. Your next inhale, slide the hands and lift the chest up, right toes curl under. Exhale, left leg to the sky, shake it out. Get some blood flowing. Release the left foot. Maybe pedal your feet, wag your tail. This is going to be your last downward facing dog, so take what you need from it. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Nice, gently making your way down through your knees and onto the mat. You're still going to need your towel or your strap, so keep it handy. See the forward fold. We're going to do one leg at a time. So right leg forward, left foot comes to the inside of that right thigh. Take a breath in, reach your arms up, square your chest over the front thigh. Breath out, reach forward. Now, your hamstrings should be pretty warmed up. That doesn't mean that they're not still tight. So if you want to use your towel and your strap to pull yourself in closer, feel free. If you do feel really open, feel free to add your block here to create a little bit more length for you to stretch into. Still keeping the spine long and the low back flat. Release forward. Maybe let your chin drop in. If you're down nice and low, if you're feeling really flexible here, a nice option that I'm a fan of is when you're in the forward fold, take your left hand to the outside of your right foot, lengthen forward, inhale, lengthen the spine. With your exhale, bring your right hand behind you, so you're finding a little bit of a twist here. So where should you be feeling this? I feel a nice stretch down the left side of my body. So I'm getting the hamstring stretch and the side body stretch. After your exhale, slowly make your way back up. And now, we'll finish on the right side. So take that right leg out, wider. Actually, I lied. Just kidding. We're going to switch sides. Left foot forward, right foot to the inside of this left thigh. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward. Using your strap, maybe the block. Whatever you feel works for you. Lengthen, release. If you want to find that little twist, left hand comes to the outside of the, no, right hand comes to the outside of the left foot, that's why I don't mirror. Left hand reaches behind you as you 
lengthen and inhale. Exhale, twist left. Reaching forward, keep breathing. And after this exhale, slowly make your way back up. Reach the right leg long, make sure you get out. And now we go for the wide leg. So right leg out wide, left foot back to the inside of this right thigh. We're going to come into more of a side stretch here. So you're going to still feel the stretch in the hamstring, but we've done a lot of that. Strap around the foot, grab, actually, we're going to grab with the opposite hand. So with your inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Maybe bring your strap to you. Doesn't matter how you get there. Exhale, reach over to the right side. Now you can grab your strap here. The key here is that you're twisting open. See, I'm not collapsing forward. This is not a stretch really for the hamstring. It's a stretch for the side body and the inner thigh. Keep working your chest open. You can use a towel for this or the strap. So we have this super deep back muscle. It's called the QL, the quadrosmum lumborum. We call it the QL muscle. And one of my favorite chiropractors told me once that it's so deep into your back, it's almost in the front. So when that muscle is tight, which is what we're stretching now, when that muscle is tight, when mine is tight in particular, it actually leads to a lot of shoulder tightness because it pulls down. It pulls the shoulders down. So a nice stretch for that. One more breath in. Breath out if you want to release over to the side. And then making your way back up. Left leg out. Right leg in. Strap. In the left hand, this is a placeholder. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach over to the side. Grab the strap. Again, work your chest open. This left arm can be on the inside. My left elbow is kissing the inside of the left knee. Keep working your chest open. Keep reaching over to the right. Huh. Keep reaching over to the left. Just check and see who's paying attention. Maybe pulling yourself just a little closer with your exhales. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Go ahead and release forward. Release the strap. One more here, both legs out, nice and wide. Now my hip, the way my hips are created, Russian splits were just never gonna happen for me. And that's okay. But we can still find some stretching, some forward motion here, sitting up nice and tall. My hips are rotating up and back, so I'm not going to collapse forward. When I fold forward, it's just coming from the hip joint. Take a breath in, lengthen through the spine. With your breath out, gently start to walk the hands forward. Stay nice and tall, belly's engaged, and slowly start to make your way forward. Now, don't try not to let your feet roll forward. So again, you're not dumping forward. Nice stretch for those adductor muscles. So I think from here, we've hit the front, the back, the outside, and the insides of your legs. We found chest opening, shoulder mobility, Neck stretches, 360 degree stretching, I like to call it. One more inhale, maybe length a little further. With your exhale, come forward as far as you can, drop your chin into your chest. And then just to slowly and carefully walk your hands back in. Carefully bring your legs together, shake them out a little bit. And then we're gonna make our way into a reclined position with our bridge pose, if you like the modified bridge, go ahead and grab your block. Come onto your back. Either option, walk your heels in nice and close to your bum. And feet are just barely hip width distance apart. Toes are not turned out. Everything is parallel to the size of the mat. If you're using the block, slide it underneath your low back at any height. Keep your arms down by your sides. 
No block for you. Start with your arms down by your sides. Either variation, take a breath in, fill up your belly. With your breath out, press through your heels, lifting your hips up. If you are in the full bridge, you can interlace your hands underneath your low back. And when you're ready, start to work your shoulders under, pressing your pinkies into the mat. Now this major hip stabilization here. So glutes are engaged. There's an imaginary block between your legs and you're working, pressing your legs together, but they're not touching. Pressing into your feet to activate your quads. Whole posterior chain is working here. Take a breath in. Fill up your belly. Breath out. Maybe lift your hips just a little higher. Maybe shift into your shoulders just a little bit more. Pressing your pinkies into the mat. Now, if we were in class, I would tell you that if you have safely come into a wheel before, you can do it now. Since we have done a lot of chest opening. If you're coming into your wheel, hands come on either side of your ears, fingertips facing your shoulders. Take a breath in. Fill up your belly. First breath out. Start to press up, very little weight in your crown. Inhale again, exhale, press all the way up. Nice stretch for the front body. Leaves are working together, they're headlights, they're not open. Shifting forward into the shoulders, dropping your head, looking behind you. One more breath in, one more breath out. If you're in a wheel, always tuck your chin carefully. Make your way down. If you're on the block, release your hands. Remove the block. Either way, roll down one vertebrae at a time. When your tailbone's on the mat, gently when you should wipe your knees. Come all the way over, side to side. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fall open just a moment here in Supta Baddha Konasana on your reclined butterfly. Palms facing the ceiling. Arms down, arms up. It's up to you. Just a moment to start to set. Feel yourself get heavy on the mat. Feel your muscles start to settle. Slow yourself down. Then after this exhale, draw your knees back together. Pull them into your chest, give them a squeeze. Grab the outsides of your feet, set up for your dead bug. Allow your knees to open wider than your hips, pressing your entire tailbone, spine, and neck on the mat. Everything is lengthened. Feet are flexed. Your breath in, press your feet into your hands. With your breath out, pull your knees into your chest. Allow this to be one final hip opener. When you can't pull your knees in any closer, you can gently start to rock back and forth. For happy baby. Baby moving, stretching from one side to the other. Just allow your body to move you. When coming to a rested center, releasing your feet, legs out to the sky. Supported inversion. If I've said it once, I said it a hundred times. Every day, get your legs up a wall for at least a few minutes. This reverse blood flow does wonders for your body. So you can be up on the block. Your legs can be up your headboard, your fireplace, your wall. Maybe you want to come back and do this later tonight. You can read while you take your legs up. Even if you're not exercising, just reverse the blood flow. Helps rejuvenate your legs, breathe some new life into them. After this exhale, we're going to remove the block, hug your knees into your chest one last time, give them a squeeze, and releasing your arms out to a T. Gently release your knees over to the right, and your gaze to the left. Maybe deepen the twist with your right hand to the outside of that left knee. the left shoulder blade into the ground. Then after this exhale, draw your knees back in through center, and then release them over to the left and your gaze to the right. After this exhale, one last time, bring your knees into center, give them a squeeze. You want to roll around in one direction and then the other direction. Anything else you need to take, now is your chance. Otherwise, curl yourself into a tight, tiny little ball, tensing up your entire body, allowing yourself to bring to the surface anything else that is no longer serving you, that you want to release. Take a breath in, squeeze as hard as you can, acknowledge it, and then with your breath out, release everything onto the mat. 
Let your legs be long, your feet fall open to the sides. Allow your arms to float away from your body with your palms facing the ceiling and your fingertips gently curling in. Start to allow yourself to return to your natural breath and your body to absorb your practice. Just finding a moment in Shavasana here. I have a thought I would like to share with you. <clears throat> Tonight's thought is about finding your center, which you can do so much for. <clears throat> Learn what it feels like to be centered, to be balanced. Learn what it feels like to be awesome. Learn to tell the difference. Then learn to come back to center as quickly as possible. Quiet, relaxed, feeling right about what you're doing. On track, in harmony, at peace, in balance. No turbulent emotions racing through you. No disorganized thoughts clamoring through your head. Your body feels aligned and you feel connected to it. What you do and say comes from your center. It feels right and honest. It feels like you and you feel connected to yourself, your deepest self, your soul. Your heart is open and so is your mind. That's the place from which we're seeking to live our lives. Find a way to get to that place, then go there often. Gently raising your awareness into the room by wiggling your fingers and your toes, maybe taking your arms overhead for one last stretch, maybe rolling to one side or the other into the fetal position, just for another moment to release any excess energy into the mat. And when you're ready, gently making your way up back to the cross, you can see where we started, this time with your hands at heart center and your eyes closed. Then floating your thumbs to your third eye, your center of intuition, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Namaste. Nice work, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have questions after the fact, or if you're watching this later on YouTube or on Facebook, feel free to drop us an email, shoot us a text, post a comment on the video. If you have questions about anything we did, anything you want to see, please feel free to reach out for us. We are here for you. You are our community and our family, and we're so happy that you're sticking with us and everything that you've done.